Welcome to Cooking for Calories, where the recipe depends on the calorie count. This will offer easier ways to get calories to gain or maintain weight. I can't spend my whole day eating to make sure I get enough calories. Been there, done that. Eating several small meals per day for weight gain is popular right now. It doesn't work for me because it feels like eating takes over my life. I make sure I get enough calories per day by eating only two meals with optional snacking in between. If you want to know how to get over 3,000 calories per day with only two meals, then stay tuned. Here's what you'll need. Rigatoni, 200 calories per serving. Margarine, 100 calories per serving. Pasta sauce, 90 calories per serving. Cheese, 60 calories per serving. Seasoning salt and crushed peppers or whatever seasoning you want to use on rigatoni. I don't make a big deal about measuring out the rigatoni. I eyeball it by making sure the box only has half or three quarter of the rigatoni left. You don't need to get the exact brands, but try to get brands with similar calorie counts per serving to get the same or similar total calories. You can use a different brand or kind of pasta sauce, whether it be chunky vegetable, marinara, sausage and peppers, etc. You don't have to use rigatoni. Any kind of pasta will do. The cheese can also be whatever you want. To learn and get practice on how to read nutrition labels and how to customize these meals to suit your needs, get the Curving 2 Customized eBook. See the description box below to find out how to get this useful eBook for those who are naturally skinny and trying to gain weight. The eBook also addresses light and heavy meals and foods. It is important to know if a meal or food is light or heavy so that you can get as many calories as possible and don't end up feeling stuffed all the time. The ebook gives examples of light and heavy meals. It also gives tips on how to tell when a meal is light or heavy for you. Whether a meal or food is light or heavy may be different for each person, so take my description as a general opinion. Let's get started. Pour 75% of a box of pasta into the pot. With other pastas, you would only use half, but rigatoni is so big, you may need more. Pour out the water, but don't pour out all of it. Leave a little to finish cooking the pasta. The key is to put the butter into the pasta when it's halfway cooked. The pasta is soft enough to eat, but it's still hard. Put the butter in, stir, and let it cook for about two to three minutes until most of the water is gone. Add half a jar of pasta sauce. Add the seasoning and mix. Pour out half of the pasta into a container. Put five slices of cheese on, then add the rest of the pasta. Add the other five slices on top of the pasta. Put the dish in the microwave for one minute so that the cheese melts. Here's your cheesy pasta. This is an easy alternative to baking. It tastes similar to baked cheesy pasta. Let's count the calories. Three quarter box of rigatoni, 1200 calories. 4 tablespoons of margarine, 400 calories, half a jar of spaghetti sauce, 225 calories, 10 slices of mozzarella cheese, 600 calories. That brings the total calorie count to 2,425 calories. This was an easy cheesy meal. Three quarter box of pasta sounds like a lot, but as you can see, it's not. This is a medium meal, satisfying, but not too filling.
Thanks for watching.